Hi beautiful people, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a trading strategy that includes the exponential moving average and make sure to watch to the end to see exactly how I'll make the strategy even better to get a higher winning rate. If you want more content that will help you become a better and profitable trader, then make sure to hit the subscribe button before the market does this to your account. This strategy can be adopted to crypto, forex, indices, and stocks. Settings and strategy rules will be pinned in the comment section below. Now let's get started. All right, welcome back. So for this strategy, we want the market to go oversold or overbought. When the market is overbought, then it's likely going to start selling. Same goes for when it's oversold. When it's oversold, then the market is likely to start buying. But how do we actually identify when the market is oversold or overbought using just the exponential moving average? Well, we'll need an indicator that tells us when the market is overbought or oversold. So I'm going to add these two indicators. First, I'm going to add the exponential moving average. This right here, add that to your chart. And what is the exponential moving average used for? The exponential moving average or the EMA is a technical indicator that tracks the price of an investment, that tracks the price of stocks, commodities, whatever you're trading over time. Next, I'll add the stochastic RSI to the chart. Settings and strategy rules will be pinned in the comment section below. The stochastic RSI is an indicator used in technical analysis and is created by applying the stochastic oscillator formula to a set of RSI values rather than the standard price data. Next, go to your EMA, the first one, Change the settings to 200, and if you want, you could actually change the color, okay? I'm gonna leave mine as it is. Go to your second EMA and change the color to white, okay? Change the color to whatever you want. In fact, I'm gonna change mine to pink, okay? And then go to inputs and change the length to 20. And here's what it looked like. The stochastic RSI, I leave settings as it is. I do not change anything on the stochastic RSI. Leave it as it is. And here are the rules and examples. So first, the EMAs must cross. Second, the market must retest the 20 EMA. And number three, Price action must be above or below the 200 EMA. And number four, stochastic RSI must be overbought or oversold. I have examples that I'm going to show you. So now for the buy example, first of all, we need the EMAs to cross, right? And we can see that here on the chart, clearly on the screen. You see we have two crossings, one here and then the other here. And that's exactly why you need three more confirmations, okay? So you do not just jump in a trade and then you lose your account, okay? Make sure to watch to the end. You do not want to skip this video. Keep watching to the end. Now we have first indication, first confirmation, right? You get your signal, you have the EMA crossed, okay? Then we need the second confirmation. We need the second confirmation. Now what is the second confirmation? It is that the market must retest the 20 EMA. Again, the markets must retest the 20 EMA. And that's exactly what happened right here. Okay? Second confirmation met. 
and now for the third confirmation price action has to be above or below the 200 EMA and in this case we're looking bullish right we're looking to buy so the 200 EMA is obviously below okay obviously below the price action and the last and most important confirmation stochastic RSI must be overbought or oversold and now we're looking to buy right so if you're looking to buy the RSI the stochastic RSI has to be oversold and that's exactly what we have here you can see that the RSI or the stochastic RSI is oversold and it has crossed so all confirmations are met and we could go ahead and place a trade and remember to check your higher time frame just to make sure you are in the right direction okay so here we place a buy trade at the opening of the next candle we use the 200 EMA as our stop loss or you could go ahead and add the stop loss indicator in this right here the average true range trailing stop loss colored add that to your chart and we can use that as our stop loss you can see right here it's slightly below the 200 EMA okay you could use that I'm just gonna hide it okay and then our take profit will be two to one risk to reward ratio and this strategy is so effective that you could even go to three to one risk to reward ratio but for this video i'm gonna leave it two to one risk to reward ratio okay and we won the trade Hopefully you said yes, okay? <laughs> so first of all, the EMA is crossed, right? Here you already know you cannot take a sell trade because all confirmations are not met. The market is not even overbought. But here you can see that first of all, the EMA is crossed, right? And then secondly, the market retests the 200 EMA. Clearly you can see that, okay? And then the third is that the price action is below the 200 EMA and then lastly the stochastic RSI is overbought so at the opening of the next candle we could go ahead and place a sell trade stop loss your 200 EMA and in fact we could use the stop loss indicator just to show you guys that you could use that or you could go ahead and use the 200 EMA as your stop loss the take profit to the one risk to reward ratio okay and let's play and see And guys, one thing about this strategy is that it's very possible for a small consolidation to happen, but do not be afraid, okay? That's what makes you a good trader. You need to learn to be calm, okay? Right, and we won the trade and here for another sell example check the strategy rules and tell me if all conditions all confirmations are met were all confirmations met hopefully you said yes because first the EMA is crushed right and then secondly the market 
must retest the 20 EMA and that happened right here. Thirdly, the price action is below the 200 EMA obviously and then the last confirmation and most important is that the stochastic RSI is over but okay it's over but and that's it guys if you want to become more skilled at trading then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you're never ever behind when i post a new video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video go ahead and go to the comment section below you can find the settings and the strategy rules pinned in the comment section below Feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!